and let's grab that edge that goes around there. Let's look at that from the side. Actually, let's select connected and just move that back and down a little bit. And let's select this loop. <coughs> move it back. Let's scale it down a little bit. Take it up. Whoops, wrong button. Alt, right mouse button, select that loop. And let's pull it back a little bit, maybe up. Better look at that from the front. Okay. Now then, let's... Wrong button again. Alt. I keep hitting my space bar. Let's go ahead and pull this up a little bit. Much better. See how the... It works out the foot a little bit more. And we just need to keep playing with this until... Because we're going to put something in between there. Okay. Let's start creating these faces. And let's look at our base mesh. We want the edge that pretty much comes down the front. I'm going to say it's this outer one. I haven't really looked at it. It's hard to tell which one of these it is. So let's go around and start creating faces. Whoops, don't do that. <laughs> don't do what I just did. There we go. Mm hmm. Now you can see how they're kind of twisting around. Let's just kind of adjust this a little bit. Start back over here. Okay. So it's these two we need to move now. Let's take them back. Let's even rotate them just a bit on Z. Okay face face there we go this seems all right <coughs> not a lot we need to we need to look at it a little bit it's out of division and let's just play with, play with the placement of it and the scale no well, actually it comes out okay let's go to vertices and take this one out And take that one out a little bit. There we go. And this one we'll take out as well a little bit. Not too much. We can add uh, divisions there. And those feet are rather small. So let's go to the front. Turn on backside. A for all, B for box. I'm just going to grab the entire foot area. And first I'm going to move them out, then I'm going to scale them up. There we go. That looks a bit more appropriate. Me and my terminology. Appropriate. Okay, so let's. Uh, we're going to have to move this one, quite obviously. Go to the front. Okay. That's all right. And there we go. Tab out animal mode, and our female model is fairly complete. Um, we have some odd banding right here. Let's go ahead and tab back in animal mode. A to deselect those, then A again to select all. Control N, we're going to cre recalculate our normals outside. Um, we haven't really had any issues with it, but uh, still. There's a couple things we can tweak in here. <coughs> we have a few more minutes. Let's go ahead and 
I want to take these and I want to pull them forward just a little bit on Y, holding down Shift. And this one as well. Okay. I'm going to select all of those and smooth them once. There we go. It's a little bit better. And this one, we need to pull it out. Holding down Shift. Okay. Which leads us to the next one which is going to lead us inevitably to the next one. Let's pull those both out. Okay. Now I could add a band of polygons going right here that will alleviate a lot of the stress put on this one, but we're not going to. We'll just smooth it once. And there we go. That looks a little bit sharp right here, so let's pull those back on Y. And these as well. Now we'll select all of these and smooth them once. Okay. Grow that selection. Smooth twice. Okay. I didn't like that extremely sharp band there. I'm going to take this one down on Z. And then I'm going to smooth those. Okay. Let's see, there are these areas where it's just kind of sharp. You can tell by that specular highlight. Let's go to the side. I'm going to rotate those a little bit and pull them forward. Okay. And these, I'm going to grow that selection and smooth it a couple times. Okay. Whoops. Didn't mean to get that far in there. It's a little bit better. It's a little bit, uh, a little too defined, um, maybe for a female. Let's just go ahead and grab those and smooth those as well. Let's deselect this one. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I kind of mumbled to myself there. Anyway, okay, so that's good. Let's go ahead and save our scene. F2, and we'll save it as 12. Save file, okay. Um, and now if you watch the uh, head modeling portion, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and bring our head mesh um, into this. So let's go ahead and um, open that. And I don't think it's on here. Okay, well, let's just append or link. And let's go to... I don't even know what that is. Anyway, uh, parent directory. And bloody molly. Let's see. Five. And let's go with object. Chances are it's cube. So let's select cube. It's probably on layer one. Sure is. So let's put that on layer 2 with the body. And go to layer 2. You can see that the head is too small. <laughs> sure. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and scale that down. Okay, let's go to the side. Let's also lower the SDS on that down to two. <clears throat> and they both have a mirror applied to them. So what I'm going to do on the head is I'm going to delete the mirror. And I'm going to shift select the body, control J to join them. 
it'll put the mirror back because the body model uh, had mirror applied to it. And let's tab into edit mode, just A to select or deselect. And let's go ahead and see what we can do about getting these joined up. I'm actually going to use the edges like we did um, on some of the other stuff. The face there. And when I get to something that I feel like is not going to line up, we're going to look at that. First of all, we need to smooth that. Okay. Okay, let's smooth that one. And I'm going to start around again from the back. And what do you know? It looks like we all we line up, except for there. So we can do uh, either a quad and a quad, and take it around the front of the neck, which actually didn't, didn't seem like too bad of an idea, because um, we don't actually have to do too much to it. So let's just add a division right there, and we'll create a face right there. And okay, so that's Alt, Right, Mouse button, and select that loop. Let's take that uh, to the side, and what I'm going to do is going to rotate it, and then pull it down. Okay, and let's Alt, Right, Mouse button, select those, and I'm just going to smooth that once, twice. Okay, I'm just going to smooth it a whole bunch of times. Let's use our little buttons down here little um, infers that they're not important. That's not really what I mean. Okay, there we go. And let's do the same thing on this one. Let's smooth this a couple times. Let's scale that down. Let's scale it down a little bit more. I like them to have a relatively thin neck. Okay, it's got the side, and that seems okay. And there we go. We applied a smooth to our head. Like right now, if I made it uh, set solid, you'd see that they all match the divisions. If I set it to smooth, you can see that it's it's all smoothed out, no faceted faces or anything. But that neck looks a little bit short, so let's go to the side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn on backside and then use our brush. Let's scale that up a little bit and select all these and then shrink up that brush and let's deselect all of that. Okay. Control plus to grow the selection because we need to get that esophagus as well if you can see it. Okay. Oh, wrong way. Plus, plus. There we go. Okay, so let's just grab and move that a little bit, taking it up and back. Much better. Okay, turn off backside. And now we just want this loop. And let's scale that down. Let's look at it from the side. Let's scale it up on Y. And let's take it down on, not Y, Z. Okay, let's look at it from the front. Okay, we're going to need another loop. There. And now, let's scale that one down just on X. Let's grab and move it just on X. Okay. Let's get it from the side. And this one we need to uh, scale it up a little bit more on Y. So S, Y. Bring it up. That looks good. And we could, you know, start messing with this and add our esophagus and stuff like that, but I'm not going to get too in-depth. And besides, when you start adding that stuff to a female, it kind of detracts from 